So let's be real, you probably got way too many logins to remember. Streaming services, shopping sites, random applications that you tried once and then completely forgot about. Yeah, same, I have a lot of those. And using one password for all of them is kind of like locking every single door in your house, thinking you are secure, and then handing out copies of the key to random strangers. So today we are fixing that by setting you up with a password manager. It's your new best friend for keeping track of strong unique passwords without stressing you out. We are setting up one of the easiest and most powerful security upgrades that you can make, the password manager. So what's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morris. Welcome back to day eight of my 30-day security challenge, where we take back control of your digital privacy one day and one password at a time. If you are following along, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. You can also grab the full 30-day challenge checklist and notes over at shannonrmorse.com. Step one, why why password managers? Well, the average person has hundreds of online accounts, from streaming apps to shopping sites to banking. If you are using the same password across multiple sites or even just slight variations of one, a single data breach can expose everything. That is where password managers come in. They are like digital safes that store all of your passwords securely, and they can generate super strong, unique passwords for every single account that you have. And yes, <laughs> I know some of you are thinking, wait, but I'm trusting one app with all of my passwords? That's a totally valid concern. And when used correctly, a password manager is far safer than trying to remember or reuse passwords. You only have to remember one master password and the application does the rest. So that means you don't need sticky notes on your monitor or reusing a password one, two, three and thinking that's secure. There won't be any more instances where you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, did I use an uppercase J or a lowercase J on that site? Or having to ask somebody in the house where the password notebook is and, oh Lord, let's not even get into how stressful it is when somebody loses their password notebook. So a password manager is two things combined that rarely get combined. It is convenience and it is security all in one place. Which brings us to step two. But wait, aren't password managers risky? This is a good question. And yes, you are trusting a company to protect your most sensitive data. And that is why choosing a reputable password manager matters. They come in a few different flavors. First, you have cloud-based, which is easy to use. It syncs across devices. This would be ones like Bitwarden or 1Password or Dashlane, some of which do have local storage only options as well. The second flavor is gonna be local only, and these store everything on your own computer totally offline. The main one that comes to mind for me is KeePass XC. So if you are the DIY privacy type, local options are probably gonna be the most secure and the best option for you. But if you want convenience and cross device syncing, a cloud-based manager might be the best fit. Which brings us to step three, choosing the right password manager. Let's go ahead and start by picking one that works best for you. So here are some of the most trusted options in 2025. Now I can't tell the future. So if one of these ends up having a breach in the future, sorry, but also I know a little bit about the past. And while some of these may have had vulnerabilities pop up from time to time, they also had speedy responses or they quickly managed the issue. One is Bitwarden, which is my top pick for open source transparency and cross-platform syncing. They also offer free and premium tiers and you can even self-host. 1Password is very sleek, it's user-friendly, it's packed with modern features like passkey support and travel mode, which also hides sensitive accounts when crossing borders. ProtonPass comes from the Proton Mail team. It's encrypted, simple, it's very great for privacy-first users. We also have Dashlane, which is a polished, beginner-friendly option that works great across devices with built-in dark web monitoring. Then there's KeePass XC, which is completely offline, open source, and ultra-secure. It's perfect if you prefer local control and you don't need cloud sync. Then we have a few that are built into your mobile smartphone. Google Password Manager works in Chrome browser and Android devices. That's not gonna be great for cross-platform solutions, but it is really easy to set up and it works seamlessly on mobile. And Apple has an app called Passwords, which works on Apple devices. This one works seamlessly if you only use Apple devices and it has the ability to save pass keys as well as passwords. And yes, there is an older 
password manager called LastPass. That one is still around, but I personally moved away from it long ago. They had a breach back in 2022. They have since patched things up, but it is worth researching and deciding which one you're comfortable with. So whichever one you pick, make sure it supports end-to-end -end encryption, zero knowledge architecture, multi-device sync, if you prefer a cloud option, two-factor authentication, bonus points for hardware key support, and bonus bonus points if it accepts pass keys for login, and it can save pass keys for authenticating on websites that you have saved in your vault. So now that you have chosen one, let's move on to step number four how to set one up. She's joining me for the rest of the video. So getting started only takes just a few minutes. First thing you have to do is pick your manager. So choose one of the ones that I mentioned or grab a different one if you prefer. Number two is creating a strong, unique master password. This is going to unlock your entire vault in your account. So make sure that it is long, complex, and it's memorable. Number three, you wanna turn on two-factor authentication for your password manager account. So if you can, choose a hardware security key with MFA or a pass key to log in. Then you will want to import or manually add your logins. And lastly, start using the password generator tool to replace old and weak passwords with strong new ones. And just like that, you've upgraded your security. I'll go into more of those in detail in just a moment, but if you are finding this video helpful, if you wanna support me in Zelda, a subscribe would a lot to me. Subscribing is a very simple and free way to support creators on YouTube, especially smaller channels like my own. Also, if you are following along with this challenge, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's video as well. You can grab my full checklist and get a little bit of a spoiler into the future videos and daily recap over at shannonrmorse.com. And a big Patreon shout out to my s'mores. You can join them and support my channel by going over to patreon.com slash shannon and Morse for perks like early video access. And I also have a pretty fun private discord that you can join as well. As usual, all the videos on my channel are free to watch. And I thank my YouTube members and my patrons for making that possible. Let's move on to step five, which is my personal strategy. Now I have been using a password manager for <laughs> a long time, probably over a decade now. And honestly, I would never go back. I currently use one of those above options. And I usually look for a manager that supports pass keys, integrates across devices, and still has local encryption options too. I also need some kind of family syncing for me and Mr. Snubs and strong options for password generation and autofilling. Also, just by the way, none of those password managers are sponsoring this video. I do have a few affiliate links down below, which you can use to support me if you do sign up with any of those. Now, I also keep a few critical passwords like my email, my bank, and my social media accounts memorized and separate. That way, if anything ever happened to my vault, my core accounts stay protected. Each of those ones are also completely unique, they're really long, and they're very weird. I also recommend reviewing your stored passwords occasionally, so if you see duplicates or weak ones, you can update them. Step six, master password pro tips. Your master password is the only one you will have to remember, so make it strong and memorable. Skip anything that is short or complex gibberish like this one here on the screen, and instead just go for a passphrase, something that is long, unique, and personal. Think something like tacos, breathe, moonlight, penguin, party, a court of thorns and roses. Just kidding, not that last part. Random, long, way harder to crack. That's what we're gonna go for here. Your master password is the key to your vault, so don't store it anywhere digital. You could write it down on a piece of paper, stash it into a secure place like your safe or password notebook, or just keep that thing memorized, but do not forget it because that is the only way you will be able to access your account. Also, another pro tip with master passwords, make sure to back up any kind of extra backup keys or codes that you may receive from your password manager. If you do lose your master password, those could give you an additional way to get back into your account. Step number seven, import and update your accounts. Now, once your manager is set up, it's time to start filling it up. Once you have been saving your passwords in a notebook or via a spreadsheet, you can then create new listings in your password manager for all those accounts and save them. If you are already using an older password manager 
and maybe you want to change to a new one, see if it has an option to export your vault as that will save tons of time with importing them into your new manager. If you do choose the export and import option, make sure when you download that file, you are storing it securely when you're dealing with it, but also delete that thing out of existence once you are done importing. You do not want that file with all your logins just laying around on your desktop. So start by logging into your most used accounts. And as you log in, let your password manager save each one. If your old passwords are weak or reused, use the generate new password tool to replace them. Always aim for passwords that are long, including symbols and numbers or passphrases in my case. Over the years, the National Institute of Technology has kept updated recommendations publicly available for passwords. And at the time of recording, this may change in the future. Again, I don't know the future. I can't tell you what's gonna happen in the future. NIST may change the recommendations, but right now at time of the recording, they are recommending that passwords be TLDR, prioritize length over complexity, recommend a minimum length of 12 to 16 characters for passphrases, and discourage mandatory password resets. Now, don't worry, you don't need to do them all in one sitting. I know you probably have a ton. I also do. I have a whole bunch. So what I do is add a few each day and within a week or two, your vault should be in great shape. Step number eight, secure your vault. So now that you've got a vault full of precious, precious passwords, we got to protect it like it's Fort Knox. So first turn on two-factor authentication for your password manager itself. This might be listed as multi-factor authentication or the ability to add physical hardware keys. If it does support hardware keys like a YubiKey, set those up for even stronger protection. Just a quick plug in disclaimer, even though they are not sponsoring this video, Yubico is one of my sponsors on my videos and on my YouTube channel. I do do use their products to secure my accounts. Their YubiKeys are my go-to for securing password managers and email and cloud backups. Because even if somebody steals your password, they can't log in without your physical key. And that's the whole point of having a YubiKey. You can grab one over at yubico.com. Now, if your manager offers biometric unlock, this is also a very convenient and secure option as well. Step number nine, a bonus for y'all about browser extensions in mobile apps. In order to make a password manager convenient, you want to make it a part of your daily workflow. Install the browser extension so it can autofill passwords and generate new ones on the fly. Download the mobile app so you can access your vault on the go. Some of them will also autofill with other applications. They will write over the other apps on your smartphone so you can easily just click a button once and done and then you can log into your different apps. Modern password managers use encrypted syncing too. So even if you you are saving passwords between your laptop and your phone, they are never exposed in plain text. And if your manager offers passkey support, again, I know I keep on mentioning it, but it's very important. Most of them do now. Go ahead and enable it. Passkeys are the next evolution of authentication. They use cryptographic keys instead of passwords, which makes phishing attacks virtually impossible. And step number 10, a few smart tips. One, never reuse those passwords ever. Enable autofill only on sites that you trust, autofill can actually be kind of useful too. Cause if you end up going to a website that's trying to fish your username and password and your password manager doesn't automatically autofill, that's because your password manager noticed that the domain for this phishing website, it might look just like your bank to you, but they notice that it's not the actual bank website. So it won't automatically autofill. So if you do have autofill turned on and you ever run into this case where you're like, huh, I wonder why it didn't autofill on this website. It might be a phishing website, so be careful. Regularly back up your vault if you are using an offline manager. And for the love of privacy, please don't store your master password anywhere digital. Write it down if you need to, keep it safe, memorize it, do something so you don't forget it, but <laughs> just don't put it digitally anywhere. I don't want your master password to get stolen. Passkeys integration, many password managers support passkeys directly, and local first or hybrid storage models are available nowadays. Bitwarden, Proton Pass, those are open source, end-to-end -end encrypted storage with self-hosting options as well. Data breach monitoring is another option that comes in a lot of password managers. This is sometimes a feature that is available and it can be very useful. Also, be wary of password manager phishing clones like fake Chrome extensions or lookalike sites. Which brings me to a bunch of 2025 updates about passkeys, AI, and the future of passwords. So let's talk about what's new. AI is creeping into password 
password managers, offering breach alerts, smart password health reports, even auto updates for compromised accounts. That can be super useful, very convenient, but make sure that the AI, whatever options you have, is running locally or with an encrypted storage, not through cloud analysis. And that's going to be it for day number eight. You now have a tool that keeps your passwords strong, unique, and easy to manage, and your brain officially has one less thing to worry about. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into creating those stronger passwords and passphrases. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. Grab your 30-day security challenge checklist over at shannonrmorse.com. I am Shannon Morse. Stay smart, stay secure, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, S'mores.